In this video tutorial, we are going to be setting up our system uh, in order to develop the um, ASP.NET website application. So, uh, the first thing that you want to do is to download the Visual Web Developer Express 2008 Express Edition. That's what you want to download. And as you can see, we are on the Microsoft website, which is microsoft.com forward slash express. And as you c they have the 2010 uh, edition available, but we're not going to be downloading this. We need to add to the download uh, page where we can download the uh, previous version. So if you scroll down and you'll be able to click on this link here, which says the Visual Studio 2008 Express Edition. So download, click on that. And we need the VWD 2008 that's what we need so if you click on that uh, click on free download button and it's going to uh, bring the web platform installer it's a very small uh, installer that will launch the installation of the main application so go ahead and uh, download it it's a very straightforward installation it should take you depending on the type of system the type of uh, specification you have should take you no more than 20 minutes for the installation to be completed so once the inter installation is completed it's time to use the application so if you go to start all programs it's going to be located somewhere around here Microsoft Visual Web Developer 2008 Express Edition so uh, if you fire it up uh, we should get um, it may take some time for the first time you um, first time you uh, start the application it might take some time so this is the uh, application and uh, as you can see uh, this is the simple um, page which gives you information about what is going on RSS feeds and if you want to create a new website you just have to go to file and say new website so it's going to give you this dialog box choose new website in the location section choose the file system which means that you're going to be developing the website on your computer system you're not going to be developing it on the server so choose the file system and the language even though you can use two languages which is the visual basic and visual c sharp um, I recommend you to use the C sharp because I am also do, uh, creating a lot of videos where I teach you how to develop in C sharp. So uh, asking you for the folder where you want to look at your website, I'm just going to leave this as it is. You can also always change the name of the folder if you want to. I'm going to click on OK, and it's going to take just a little while, just a little few seconds to create the necessary files as you can see he has created some files which we're going to be talking about in the future and he has presented you with um, a basic code that makes up the page so you have three choices you can work in the source view you can work in the split view or you can work in the design view so if you type anything here and say this this is a first website. The same information we placed inside the uh, source view, as you can see, is added a paragraph for us. And uh, so you can choose to work here, here, or here. So this is the split view that make you work both in both ways. So you can work there. Oh, there. So, um, uh, just like I said, this is now a tutorial for ASP.NET. This is just for us to set up the environment to make sure that everything is ready. So, what you want to do now in order to see what you have written um, is to click on debug and start without debugging, and uh, the ASP.NET server will be started as you can see here and uh, we have written our first uh, website so this is our first website as you can see um, the server 
is running everything is um, working fine so if you go back to the application um, that's it really so you can add a you can add a button you can add a button or a text field and uh, if you click on uh, debug start without debugging and uh, we should be able to see the controls that we've placed on it so it's a very simple way to build a website and uh, in the in the next video we're going to be um, going deeper into these tags and what each controls do and what are the this element in this uh, the properties and the solution explorer and the toolbox and everything that you need to know in order to develop ASP.NET website so uh, if you enjoyed this video then you should watch the next video thank you